Suno AI is an innovative tool that lets you transform simple text prompts into songs that open up a whole new world of creativity and takes your projects to the next level. In simple terms, you type in the kind of song you want and Suno will create it for you. In this video, we'll create a few songs using Suno. We'll start from a foundational level, then each new song will be a progression that dives deeper into Suno's capabilities. All right, let's get into it. The first thing you want to do is visit suno.com and sign up using your email. The free account will give you 50 credits per day, which allows you to generate 10 songs. After you sign in, click on create. Now Suno gives you two ways to create songs, simple and custom. The simple is just that. You type in the kind of song you want into the song description box using a simple prompt. Okay, so for our first song, let's start off with your typical basic prompt just to get a feel for how Suno works. Click up here in the song description box and let's go with the following. How about we want to write a song about overcoming the challenges of life using a contemporary 90s retro vibe with guitars, keyboards, and catchy lyrics. Then we can go ahead and click on create, give Suno a few minutes to work its magic, and it's interesting to note that Suno will generate two versions of our song. Once things are finished, let's go ahead and click on play to see what we get. Okay, gotta admit, that's not too bad. Now, let's hear the second one. So that's all it really takes. Just tell Suno the topic of your song, the musical style you want to use, and Suno will take care of the rest. Okay, so let's move on to our next song. For this next song, we're going to stay with a simple prompt, yet going to twist things a bit and give Suno a wacky theme to work with. So how about we go with a song about how much we hate our job and spreadsheets too, using an 80s glam metal hairband sound with lead guitar, melodic rhythm guitar, deep bass, and catchy lyrics. Let's click create. Give things a few moments, and now let's see what we get. Alright, you gotta admit, that's interesting to say the least. Now, let's hear the second one. <laughs> All right, you got to admit, that's pretty good. Okay, before we wrap up this section about using simple prompts, it's worth mentioning that you get the best results by using descriptive prompts. For example, write a song about whatever topic you want, and let's say you want to go with a 90s ska sound, adding in some alternative synth melodies, and mix in some drum beats with an upbeat tempo, blended with traditional instruments and an offbeat guitar. Click Create and see what you get. Now, you want to take this with a word of caution because the downside with Suno is the more information you give it, Suno may get overwhelmed and the results you get may not be the best. So put another way, you're going to have to find the appropriate balance that works for you. Okay, let's move on and start our deep dive into Suno by taking a look at the real power it has and that's using the custom option. To create a custom song, go up here and switch from simple to custom. To get things rolling, let's pick up from our previous example and ask Suno to create a song about a particular theme, but we're not going to ask for any specific song genre now, we just want the lyrics. So how about we give Suno a wacky theme and ask it to create a song about your meetings are always boring? And since we're on the subject of lyrics, it's a good idea to stay away from anything copyrighted or trying to use any existing song lyrics because Suno will recognize it and not generate the song. On a personal note, I also tend to shy away from referencing any band names just to give myself a little extra cushion. But if you try, let me know how it goes. 
After we're done entering our prompt, let's click on the Write About button. From this point, we would typically tell Suno the style of music we want to use, then click Create, all of which is intuitive, but we're going to hold off on that for right now. Instead, we're going to take a moment and focus on these lyrics, especially these brackets, because this is where things get interesting. Take note of where it reads verse, verse 2, chorus, bridge. This bracketed text are referred to as meta tags, and they allow you to start playing around with a structure and let you modify the song. Now, before we talk about how to use meta tags within Suno, let's take a moment and look at the components that make up your typical song. And they are the following. Intro, which is a short section that sets the mood or introduces the song. The verses, they are the lyrics that tell the story. The pre-chorus, this is often optional. It builds the tension before the chorus. The chorus is the main or repeated portion of the song. The bridge, which is a contrasting section that offers a break from the repetition. It's often a melody or some lyrics. The hook, which is an element used to catch the listener's attention, and they can be found anywhere in the song. The break, which is typically a stark contrast in the song, for example, a pause, sound effect, etc. The interlude, which is basically a transition or intervention within the song, usually it's without vocals. And the outro, which is the conclusion of the song, often instrumental or a fade out. The cool thing is with Suno, you can take these song elements and put them into the custom section to create a specific type of song arrangement. So to demonstrate this, let's start over and say we want to create a song using the theme that we just mentioned, but we want the song to be structured like this. Verse, verse 2, bridge, verse 3, pre-chorus, and chorus. Now, it's important to note that even though you're using the meta tags correctly, the results may not be 100% accurate and it might need some modification. So let's go ahead and create this and see what Suno gives us. Okay, for the most part, it's pretty accurate. All right, just for fun and before we move on, let's erase this and try it one more time. And let's say we want our song to be structured something like this. Verse, chorus, verse two, Bridge, interlude, chorus, outro. Let's go ahead and generate that and see what we get. All right, and again, for the most part, that looks pretty good. By now, you should be getting a feel for what you can do with Suno, and if you want to delve deeper into its capabilities and look at the type of meta tags that are available, you can visit the Suno Wiki to get a comprehensive overview of what's available. There's also a link in the description as well. For example, you notice that the wiki states that using meta tags work best when they are short and descriptive. Another part that's important is if you go too top heavy with your meta tags, you run the risk of having those descriptive phrases included within the lyrics that are generated, which I can honestly say has happened when I was experimenting with Suno. Moving on, if we visit the verse section, notice we can modify the verse tag to be a happy verse or a sad verse. If we check out the voice tag section, You'll see you can assign a gender as well as a particular singing style, which will influence your results. If we check out the instrumental tags, some of the meta tags you can include are an instrumental interlude, melodic bass, percussion break, bass trap, and so forth. Another key point to keep in mind is to ask Suno to use the instruments that are in line with the genre of music you're targeting. For example, if you're creating a rock song, you may not get the best results asking for a steel drum solo. Yet, feel free to try and let us know what happens. Moving on, a good place to use these tags is in the style area when you create your custom songs. You may also want to try to be more descriptive with the tags as well, although the results are not guaranteed. Moving on, let's talk about the other element that you can use when creating your songs, and that is these parentheses, otherwise known as ad libs. In simple terms, using parentheses lets you repeat a part of the song in a second voice or in an improvised form. Going one step further, you can also add new lyrics within the parentheses as well, or even add the obligatory whoa, 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 I know that sounds horrible, that you often hear in a lot of songs. So let's take a moment to add some of these ad libs, making sure to put things within parentheses, and let's see what we get. Dragon slow today. Context, but time won't play. Eyes glaze overhead, start to 
Okay, not too bad. Now let's hear the second one. Now, one last thing to discuss before moving on to instrumentals. If you don't like the lyrics and want to edit them, click on the song title, then scroll down, then click the Edit Displayed Lyrics button, go ahead and make your changes, and save them. All right, let's change gears and talk about how to create instrumentals. The first step is to create a new song, then go up here and switch to instrumentals. From this point, we just have to type in a simple prompt. Let's say, for example, we want an upbeat, high-energy rock reggae song. Go ahead and click on Create, and let's see what we get. Okay, not too bad. Pretty cool sound. Now, let's hear the second one. All right, so for our final song, how about we pressure test Suno and ask it to create another instrumental, but this time we want some specific elements, of which we're going to place within parentheses. So let's go with something like this. We want some drum beats building up, along with a rhythm guitar, some orchestral crescendos, dramatic strings, and some epic percussion. And let's see what we get. Okay, that's interesting. So as we start to wrap everything up, it's important to re-emphasize the results that you get from Suno will vary greatly. And oftentimes, using the simplest prompts will get you the best results. For example, before recording this video, I asked Suno to create a bunch of songs using essentially the same prompts and musical styles that we've seen throughout this video and thought it would be worth your while to hear the variety and wide interpretation that Suno gives you. So, in no particular order, here they are. All right, now, before you go, if you're a content creator and looking for some awesome apps that hardly anyone is using, you can check out this video right here.